9,100, 20 pounds, Eagle, 28.5 RSTS, rear sofa, triple slide here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is, uh, this fits a neat little spot. This is as small as you can comfortably make a fifth wheel with opposing super slides. And this one also comes equipped with a uh, handy campsite outside kitchenette here to take a lot of that cooking heat and just some convenience uh, aspects outside of the RV. These come with a standard factory towing hitch, the industry's best two plus three warranty. And there's some optional equipment that you're gonna see on here today, like that second air conditioner. But this is a good example of how we typically build them and how they have proven to be very popular here at Halet RV. There's not much to see with the slides closed other than the side of a slide out, so we're just going to kind of gloss over that. You can get to the bathroom and the bedroom, some of the pantry or the closet. That's about it. So let's focus on the good things here, like the fact that we've got a whisper ducted air system, and if you don't see the square, you won't hear the air. Um, also, every single air duct in pretty much any Jago with central air, it can both turn and close, so you always maintain control over that air system. Now they've gone to what I call a dimmers for dummies system. They've had dimmer switch lighting in these Eagles, but now they just have a simple little slider switch on the wall as opposed to the touch and hold system, which wasn't bad, but it's just easier to control up, down, and get that sweet spot exactly where you want it instead of trying to catch it on the swell. We've outfitted this one with the optional theater seat right here. Normally there'd be a pair of rec uh, recliners, which I get that there's some benefit to that, but the theater seating faces directly across from the TV and it's wall hugging. So I feel like it's a more appropriate seating scenario given this floor plan. You might have noticed how all of the windows open for airflow, including that giant rear picture window. Gives you some amazing airflow within this floor plan. Um, also, you have pleated uh, blackout nightshades uh, all through the RV that you'll see in a little bit. This has also been upgraded to a power theater recliner. There's, there's been a bunch of little touches in these uh, Eagles here that are very easily missed because at a glance you're like, oh, they're the same. There's actually some very small things that I think are very nice features. Like you have power theater seating with some USB plugs there, which is a handy little touch. And of course, you still have that tri-folding uh, hide-to-bed in the back for guests big and small. And I mentioned those blackout shades, but like I said, if you really want to block out the sun, which is good for more than just sleeping privacy, if you want to keep the hot sun out, those shades are fantastic. But back to the height of bed. You see those green lights on either side stand? If I get a little bit closer here, you see that both sides of the sofa have two sets of USB and household plugs. Well, not two sets, that implies four. There's a set of USB and household plugs on each side. That's maybe a, a little more crystal clear way to phrase that. So whether it's things like phone chargers, or even if your guest is a CPAP user, even guests can sleep well in an Eagle. And whether you're on that rear sofa, the theater seat, or over here at the dining, with the way that TV swings around, you've got a no neck wrecker entertainment center. Don't care where you're sitting. It can pivot the other way and face kind of the theater seat and sofa together so that you can have a cool little conversation corner. You can face it toward the table if you're eating and even the campsite cook can kind of keep an eye on what's going on here. Now up top you see you've got your uh, Bluetooth DVD player, common stuff, but it is all HDMI wired and that's a neat thing Jayco does. They're very good about this. They don't just give you HD capable stuff. They actually run all the HD wiring for you, including an extra plug here. Where is it at? If you want to add another device, they've already run the wiring for you. You could do it, but now you don't have to deal with fishing wires through your entertainment center here. Uh, electric space heating, remote control fireplace down here is also a nice way to get some extra heat in the RV without burning up all your propane. But one of the things this model does very well, shockingly well really for the size, is storage. They nailed it on storage here. Starting on the left here, we've got a pantry with a magnet latch door, which I think is really, really smart. It says that the Eagle people are aware of how these things are actually used because that magnet latch door will help keep that door shut. It can't like easily jiggle open in transit and it will try to re-catch itself even if it does because if that door opened behind the slide flange, that could be a costly oops mistake. Now it's probably not gonna mess up the slide out, but that slide will crunch the door. This is also motion sensitive lighting here in the pantry. So if you're trying to sneak a little midnight snack or something, it'll kick on right when you need it. And as if that wasn't enough, you've got more big time space over here. And to really kind of drive it home, you have these monster pockets of storage space below. But you might have noticed what I call the drunken octopus coat hangers because look at that thing. That looks like an octopus that had one too many and he's ready to fight. 
there's another magnet hole back for that shelf right there to really, really uh, give you like a huge coat closet space or, or just tall stuff if you need it. Now over here on the face of the island, it's easy to miss because it's kind of dark on dark. There are a set of household appliance outlets handy for that island, but you see that white thing. This is a two plug USB hub. That's what 99.9% .9 of us are going to use it for. Theoretically, you could mount a portable Furion Bluetooth speaker to it. I just don't think a lot of people are going to. Now, um, I didn't mention it sooner, but the, the sofa side stands, they're made with the same sealed edge pressed countertop material that you find here in the kitchen as well as up in the bathroom, which makes them a uh, bit waterproof, the countertops themselves. And very handy if you set a drink down and it happens to sweat. You just wipe up the little sweat ring and no big deal. Uh, chef grade bamboo cutting board there and a roll away drying rack next to that uh, stainless high rise sprayer faucet make for some pretty good counter prep space. Also, there are uh, another set of household outlets up above that window right there. That's something I very often forget to show people and I didn't want to forget again this year. And anywhere you see counter space, you're going to see cabinet space. And I love how they did not waste anything, even under that oven. You've got yourself a big, full extension storage drawer right there, which... Tell me when more storage is ever the wrong answer. I think I'm probably going to disagree with you. Respectfully, of course. But there's a word for people who think there's too much storage. It's called wrong. <laughs> but we're not done. I wanted to give you a quick look at what the sink actually looks like. Just because we're here, might as well. But you haven't really seen like normal functional silverware utensil drawers. The good news is you're not losing them. They're right here. Eagles use an asymmetrical island, which is very intelligent because even when the sink's open, you maintain some prep space. Now they give you some dedicated shelves for things like dish soaps, but a big tall open area there for things like waste baskets. And then you've got a destination dining desk. Eagle spends more on their dining arrangement than anybody else in this class. This is the kind of thing you get in those luxury fifth wheels and diesel pushers, where you have a uh, uh, like two a, two common user table that can expand. Whether you're going to use it as a desk, you see the extension leaf and a pair. There's two of those fold away guest chairs right there. They can stow uh, under the bed very easily. You could put them in the pass through, or you could just leave them at home if you really don't want any guests. But it gives you uh, the ability to kind of expand, contract your seating, your dining arrangement as you need. And then whether it's mood lighting or night lighting, kind of like the main ceiling cabin lights, those little uh, farm looking pendant lights above the table, those are also on a dimmer switch controlled right beside that window. Interesting little note, whether uh, your eagle that you're looking at is in the American tradition brown on brown decor or the modern farmhouse, which is that white gray decor that we're looking at today. It will always have the same looking bedroom and bathroom. Uh, those never change. What is kind of cool too, they use a different fan on these. It's got, uh, basically it's rain protected. So if it's drizzling outside, you want to get that heat out, you want to exhaust that humidity and get some fresh air cycled through, you can do that here. Notice around and specifically behind the mirror. These have what I call a backlit morning mirror. During the day, it just looks cool. But in those kind of twilight hours, it really lets uh, you see what you're doing without straight blinding yourself. That's a sealed edge press membrane counter, by the way, and that porcelain stool there you can see leaves you plenty of legroom, whether you're getting out of the shower and getting dressed, or you're uh, just sitting on the toilet doing what you have to do on the toilet. You're always going to have plenty of legroom there. This is, uh, since we're in the upper deck, they were able to recess the shower plumbing, which means that even for a tall person like me, this is a full stand-in shower, and that little night light up there, you can already see how during the day, even with light pollution coming in through that skylight, it makes the shower glow. At night, that one light will give this room just enough visibility where you can definitely see through this whole thing and uh, not have to wake up your partner if you slip up here into the bathroom like, I sleep through the night like the dead, but my wife's up and down. And whether there's, you could shine a spotlight in my face, I ain't waking up, but I think it makes her feel better knowing that, you know, it, she definitely wouldn't wake me up. Flipping over from the bedroom bathroom access door to the hallway bathroom access door, we get a better look at the slide. Now notice, it extends up into the bedroom. It's a bathroom bedroom combo slide. It's a little heavier, but it also means you've got all this extra linen space here that you would otherwise not have. And I haven't mentioned it sooner, but know how this has all hidden hinge cabin trees. Just nicer, sharper, higher end things that you'll find in an Eagle. Moving up here into the bedroom, Eagle was the first in his class to get rid of that, you know, nine inch step of death very quickly. Other brands followed suit. This, uh, you know, frames up that 60 by 80 queen bed nicely and there's full storage below it. 
And a big thing I want to talk about here is the fact that we have added from the factory level a second air conditioner. Whenever we start getting into these triple slide models, even though Eagles have an awesome hot cold insulation package, it's nice to get that extra cooling power. Now what's cool on an Eagle is most brands in this class category. If you add a second air conditioner, it's a 13,500 BTU. Sometimes it's centralized, sometimes it's not. It is centralized with an Eagle. It's also a 15,000 BTU air unit to give you maximum cooling power. That is the same that you get in a giant full-time living luxury Jayco fifth wheel here in this little triple slide guy. Now you might have noticed as I was scanning around how those uh, bedside cabinets in the upper right corner of the video right now, those are not hanging closets. That's why you have the closet slide over here. You, you actually have more closet storage space than you would otherwise. But note a neat little thing here. Above that dresser drawer they include in the slide out, they have a cross through breeze window. That's an awesome quality. Most fifth wheels in this size, class, and category with a closet slide like this do not have opposing breeze through windows. But Eagle does. That's a pretty normal trend though. A lot of times, if there's things other brands don't do, Eagle does. That should be their slogan. And another thing Eagle does, gives us full, easy access to the storage uh, below the uh, bed here. To give you an idea of the giant microwave that we saw, that's the box that it comes in. Easily fits in that compartment. And you can see how that shelf under the headboard area is perfect for those folding hideaway guest chairs. I've got one of them left in there now. And look at the bed deck itself. Plywood, not OSB. That's just... That's Jayco. That's why they have that 2 plus 3 warranty that beats anybody else in this class for peace of mind, coverage, etc. Outside here over on the campsite of the RV, one of the signature calling cards of this model is the fact that it is a couple's camper with a cool sort of camp kitchen situation going on here. Now there are TV hookups up in that cabinet, so if you want to surface mount a TV, you can. That's the kind of thing we can easily add here at Halo RV. We don't typically uh, add that from the factory, but it's not a difficult thing to do. Uh, another one of those uh, Bluetooth speaker mount USB hubs, but some household outlets as well. Gives us a neat little sort of outdoor appliance station next to that fridge, which the two fridges together give this over 10 cubic foot of cold storage space. And we've got a screaming hot capital grill out here to do some real grilling, not just like cook a couple side dishes. Now, sometimes people ask me, why is there no sink in that camp kitchen? And the answer is because that camp kitchen is mounted in the slide out, which is above the floor, which is tall because we put the bigger tires on and it's a fifth wheel. So a sink would be nearly impossible to reach. I suppose this is as good a time as any to talk about the best in class Goodyear Endurance radials that we're looking at here. Uh, rated for 87 miles an hour, only 80 PSI, which means they're not hard to keep inflated in simple plain English. Also, we do like to outfit this with the larger 16 inch radial tires that you're seeing there versus a class standard 15. And this is yet another example of what I call eagle doing eagle things. It's just this is the definition of who these folks are. This is a smaller class fifth wheel with a bigger class equipment package which includes the now standard more ride zero g stable steps but notice they have a normal folding entry handle as well as the handle built right onto the steps there and it's obviously the zero gravity version they do every little upgrade and whiz bang they possibly can for easy come and go here including a wider 30 inch door with a full viewing window and shade Magnet holdbacks, slam latches, that's pretty common stock. A quick note for you, I like how the outside camp speakers are down here right next to where you're going to have your picnic table. And though it doesn't have a sink over here, they do still include a handy little cold water sprayer port so that you can do a little bit of campsite cleanup. There's actually a second set of outside TV hookups here because this is a standard front end on a Eagle HT series. So they all have the same pass-through capacity, basically. Uh, motion sense lighting on both sides of the pass-through is a nice touch. And notice how, uh, if we look up top here, you can see a double-sided radiant thermal foil there acting as a uh, another heat uh, exchange barrier. And that's a cool thing on Eagles. These are and have been uh, hot, cold camp rated for many, many seasons now. They get the job done very, very well. Um, the uh, cool thing on Eagles here is they were one of the very first in this class to actually prove 0 to 100 degree functionality and uh, they're, they're still one of the very best. Like they're not just like when it's 0 degrees outside they don't just barely stay above freezing, they stay well above freezing. That's one of the things they're very good about. 
Now the nose cap here, I don't have any power running to it uh, currently, but on either side of that Jayco logo, you see some vertical accent lights. Those are actually orange, I call them lightsaber lighting because, well, I'm, I'm a nerd. But, uh, you know, thank you George Lucas and all the people that supported him and giving us the coolest sci-fi franchise ever. Anyway, um, or sci-fantasy, doesn't matter, I'm way off topic. The fact is though, they use orange because it's very visible, it looks cool, and it's DOT approved. So if you accidentally forget and you leave it on, you're not going to get pulled over or anything like that. Right out of the box, a cool thing on these Eagles is they ha have room for at least four batteries in that battery compartment where you see that wiring above the spare tire. And if you wanted to, you could obviously fill the rest of that thing with batteries if you were so inclined. Over here on the other side of our pass-through is our fully enclosed docking center, which has heated protected gate valves. And I like how they give this, it's a, a galvanized rolled steel enclosure. It just has a really nice, rugged, high-class feel. So you've got an outside sprayer port on the other side, a full outside shower here. There is side mount solar prep there, but this also has roof solar prep. This was the first in its class to include that feature. Um, as we uh, take a knee down here, I want to reiterate the fact that these are and have been hot, cold camp rated for several seasons, uh, fully insulated, forced air heated underbelly with proven cold camp ratings. Jayco actually takes all their eagles to a uh, Dometic uh, hot cold chamber basically. They crank the heat up, crank the heat down, leave it there for 24 hours and see how it performs. And here's a kicker, with the slides open. And that right there is a big difference that not every brand does. The little things like having the extra radiant barrier in the floors of all of Jayco's slides, even a J-Flight SLX, it makes that difference right there, I think. Eagle was the brand that blessed us with the industry first J-Smart lighting system, which is not just reverse lighting, but also side marker lighting. So if you flip on your left turn signal, all of those associated side clearance lights and upper uh, extra upper clearance lights on the back will blink along with that signal to give other drivers an idea of what you're doing enhances everyone's safety. So you have reverse lights built into the taillights, but as well as another one that casts a ton of light above that uh, rear view camera prep. And here is another best in class feature. I've seen some other fifth wheels finally start to catch up to Eagle on this, but they've been doing this for years. A factory standard. 3,000 pound towing hitch with 300 pound tongue limit rating. You can see it has safety chain hooks and the four-way wiring harness on the back there. This makes this RV perfect for doing things like doubles towing. If you have a little boat or enclosed trailer you want to put on the back here, uh, provided it fits within your state's uh, length restrictions, Eagle is built from the factory to do that without sacrificing that two plus three year factory warranty, which is again, the best in the business. Oh man, is there, is there a funny bone in your knee, specifically your left one? Cause I cracked that sucker. I think I discovered a new human body part climbing up that ladder. Ooh, anyway, I was talking about warranties before I tried to break my leg. Um, <laughs> I've mentioned a couple times, best in class, two plus three year warranty. What do I mean by that? Well, there's lots of different RVs. I have always said every RV is the best for a different reason. You're looking at literally hundreds of them right here, right now at Halid RV, close to 500, if not more, in fact. Well, they all have things that make them the best in a different way. One of the things Jayco's always been the best at is their full RV coverage. They've had the longest RV warranty at two years. There were some brands that came out with a three-year structural coverage and it kind of confused everyone. They said, oh, they have a three-year warranty. No, they don't. That's structural. It's different. It's different. It's far, far more limited. Well, just to clear up the mess, Jayco said, fine, we're going to have our normal uh, two-year warranty and we'll take your three-year structural warranty. H top of that. So there's nobody else in the main market doing this. They have hands down the, the best coverage of anyone in the main market. It's what's things they've always uh, you know succeeded with and the thing is the product backs it up because like things like we're walking on plywood decking not OSB decking we're walking on thicker roof trusses we're walking on a heavier insulation package that's the kind of stuff that separates them now Eagle's always been kind of like a technology leader down at Jayco which historically had been a little bit slow to adopt new things Eagle said we're gonna break the sound barrier watch this we're gonna be the first in this class to have standard roof solar prep so if you want to go nuts, you want to go way off grid, you've got it. You've got roof fence to uh, exhaust that heat. They have a, uh, a different style bath vent fan 
that uh, if you look at that enclosure, it doesn't need like a Camco or Max Air roof vent cover because it just prevents water from getting in. Now, once again, we are looking at the optional bedroom air conditioner on this, but what is another best in class feature is that this has a 15,000 BTU centralized second air conditioner to give this a full 30,000 BTU cooling system, which by the way, matches a Jayco Pinnacle in terms of cooling capacity. You wanna breathe icicles? Welcome to your camper. Welcome home, guys. Uh, a little bit different kind of sewer cap right here. This inverted sort of airfoil cap, that funky looking mushroom next to the air conditioner. Um, basically, it prevents odors from backflowing into your RV. Nice! You've got the WineGuard Air 360 antenna system here. So this is our uh, omnidirectional TV antenna, which is cool, but there's also a little thing you can plug into it where it will sort of double as like a uh, an LTE receiver antenna if you want to do some uh, off-grid camping and stay connected to your mobile data sources. It's just it's just cool all the things this brand does, and they're all cool for different reasons. I'm not gonna lie, I've always been a little sweet on Eagles. I think pound for pound they're one of the best fifth wheels ever created, and that's pretty bold of me to say considering we represent a lot of different brands. That's a personal opinion, and I welcome you to form your own opinion. But the fact is, uh, I see a lot of value in this because as a person who goes camping, Eagle does the things that matter. I think they do them very well, but they're also very good about doing them in a very pretty, elegant, upscale and refined way in a class that often is a little more regressive and basic and price sensitive. Eagle's not the cheapest fifth wheel, but you could say it's the best in terms of equipment. But what's best is obviously subjective, and that's why we have the 500 some RVs that we're looking at here at Halet RV today. Now the good news, you found us here at Halet RV, and we don't do hidden dealer fees. And what's better news is we do everything else, whether it's hitching, pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer, package deals, RV delivery, and everything in between. So, I don't care where you live. All I ask for, if you appreciate this video, is the opportunity to earn your family's business. I think that's fair. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.